In this video, we're going to be building a 4-bit adder using the 74283 chip. The materials that I will be using are a breadboard, the 74283 chip, two 4 input dip switches, 5 LEDs, resistors with values of 8 1K ohm and 5 470 ohm. You will also need jumper wires and a 6 volt power supply. We'll start by placing the chip and the dip switches onto the breadboard. Then we'll connect all of the top pins of the switches to power. And connect all of the bottom pins to ground using the 1K resistors. Next we'll place the 5 LEDs onto the breadboard. Then we'll connect all of the cathodes, which are the shorter leads of the LEDs, to ground using the 470 ohm resistors. All of the pins will be referred to as follows. The inputs of the switches will be referred to as A0 to A3 and B0 to B3. The anodes of the LEDs will be referred to as C4 for carry and S3 to S0 for sum. This is the naming convention that is used in the data sheet which you could find in the description below. Let's begin with the connections. We'll start by connecting pin 16 to power and pin 8 to ground. Pin 9 goes to LED C4 and pin 10 goes to LED S3. Pin 13 goes to LED S2. Pin 1 to LED S1. And pin 4 to LED S0. Next we'll connect the switches to the chip. We'll connect A0 to pin 5. A1 to pin 3, A2 to pin 14, and A3 to pin 12. Then we'll connect B0 to pin 6, B1 to pin 2, B2 to pin 15 and B3 to pin 11. Pin 7 is for the initial carry referred to as C0 in the data sheet. Since we are not going to be using this, we'll connect it to ground. This will complete all of the necessary connections. To test the circuit, we'll connect the two ground and power rails together and plug in the power supply. Your finished circuit should work as follows. We'll do 1 plus 1, which gives you 2. 3 plus 3, which gives you 6. And finally, 8 plus 8, which will give you 16.